Hey, what's up you guys? James here, and welcome to my second review of my re horror movie reviews. So, today we're, what we're going to be reviewing is the original Friday the 13th. So, Friday the 13th tells, tells a group of a group of camp counselors reopening uh, reopening a camp that has been closed down for many years and they are being warned about a, about a dreaded curse that happened years ago and then they are being stalked by an unknown killer so the story behind in Friday the 13th is very interesting and after Halloween came out um Sean S. Cunningham said, talked on the phone and said, and quoted, Hey, Halloween is making a lot of money, so let's rip it off. So, yeah, he admitted it, and, but he said that and quoted that, but, so, yeah. But still, Friday the Thirteenth is still a good movie. So, hey, many movies are like other movies. So, yeah. So, let's get to the story of let's get to the plot of Friday the Thirteenth. Friday the Thirteenth has some good characters, good kills, and a great plot twist. So, it takes place on a, on a camp that is, that had a dark past in 1958, where when two, pe two camp counselors were making out, and then someone noticed them, and then kills them. And then the camp was closed down for many years, and... Then the camp counselor decided to open it up, and and then shit gets a go. Shit goes real. Things gets real, and I, I don't know what I'm saying. Forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. Anyways. And the group of camp counselors go to the camp and get things ready to reopen again. And and then the people warn people, including Ralph, that no one listens to, uh, warns them about the dreaded curse of Camp Crystal Lake. And and. Yeah, but no one listens to them. And then when a hitchhiker was going to camp and gets a ride from there, she is being warned not to go there. But then she doesn't listen to them. And then she gets another ride with an unknown assailant. And then, and then unexpectedly, she gets killed off. And then they are focused on the camp counselors there's getting ready for camp and then and then their boss goes out to get supplies and leaves them in charge and they're and the characters they're really great some some I find great and one I find funny I'm and I'm talking about Ned he he Says a funny line like, you know, you're beautiful when you're angry, sweetheart. <laughs> and that was his laughing. <laughs> and, and, sure, he was, sure, he was being a, being a dick, but still, he, I still find him funny. And, Yeah.
Yeah, he. Yeah, he. Is. Anyways, let's get back to. Um, let's get back to. The plot. The characters, like. They're really interesting characters. So. So. And when I see the kills, they are really great. And I and I have to give credit to a man named Tom Savini. He is really great with these special effects makeup and the kills. He did a great job with it. And I think he also did the fourth Friday the 13th movie, which I am looking forward to getting to. I'll get to that. And we'll get to that movie soon. And and when and then Ralph comes to them and they are being warned by him about the curse and they need to tell him to go home before it's too late. But then they didn't listen to him and they tell him they're all doomed. They should have listened to him. Anyways. And then unexpectedly, yeah, they are being killed off. And then and we are focused on the one survivor, her name Alice, and she finds them dead, and she is the only one left, and she needs to survive, and. She then, okay, and then she then sees a driver and and she sees a person named Mrs. Voorhees. Okay, okay, and then we get to the great plot twist. And before I tell you this, this do not watch this review. Go watch the movie for yourself because it is a great plot twist. Also, before you and to let you know, Jason Voorhees is not the killer in this movie. He's not in this at all. And the killer is Pamela Voorhees, his mother. The reason why he is she is killing everyone is because they let her son, the camp counselors. In the fifties, let it let him drown and died, and and she is the reason why they she killed the two counselors, and and I don't know why she's killing the new counselors, and because they had nothing to do with it, but still, it's a great plot twist, and and then when she tries to kill Alice, and. Then, Alice chops her head off. And I was like, oh god. And to be honest, Pamela Voorhees, she's much scarier than Jason. And when she, that she says, kill her, mommy. Kill her. Yeah, that is very creepy. And then, when we all know, when... We thought there was a happy ending. Jason comes out of the water and grabs her and pulls her down the lake. And I was like, I was like, holy shit! And but then we all know. But then we got to the hospital with Alice being there, and I'd be like, oh, it was a nasty little dream. But then they told her it was real, and and I was like, "Wait, what?" And then they asked, she asked them what happened to the boy Jason, but they told them they didn't find a boy, and uh, and then she'd be all like, "Then he's still there." And then the movie ends. To be honest, 
it's a good Friday the 13th movie. It's a really great horror movie. And a great plot twist at the end. Not my favorite, but we'll get to that soon. So, yeah. Great kills, great characters, and... Great plot twist. And... So, yeah. Great A slasher movie. So... In the end... I'll give my rating... I'll give my rating inspiring and 8 out of 10. So, what do you think of Friday the 13th? Do you love this movie or do you have different opinions about it? Let me know in the comments below. So, yeah, keep a lookout for my next movie reviews. And my next review will be Friday the 13th Part 2. Two. So yeah, that's basically it. So don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so yeah, that's basically it. So bye everybody.